Information at the simplest level is just meaningful text. You can say it's like uh, the plays of Shakespeare or the Bible if you want to pick something noble. It's uh, like the Los Angeles telephone directory uh, if you want to pick something much more mundane. Perhaps a, a, an instruction book, let's say a cookbook with all the recipes would be the, the best example, or a computer program uh, that, like the operating system of a PC. Now, in order to have, let's say, a computer operating system, you have to have lots and lots of that text and instructions. So it's extremely complex, feature number one. It's, it's a lot of letters in a specific order. And the order is specified. That's point number two, which is to say only one complex arrangement will do to operate the computer. Uh, if you get another one, you've got something that doesn't work at all. So it's specified complexity. And a third feature is that it's called aperiodic, or it's non-repeating. And that means that it's not the result of physical or chemical laws, because those laws always produce simple repetitive patterns. For example, you can imagine a book that's written this way. Um, you, you put a macro on your word processor that says, repeat the letters ABC, 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 until the computer printer runs out of paper. See, and then you'd get a book like that, and it wouldn't be a very interesting book. Uh, and it would never get more interesting because you see the same laws that give you that pattern ensure that you'll never get a different pattern or a more meaningful one. So the information in the uh, uh, computer's operating system, like the information that has to be present to operate all the cell's machinery, is complex, specified, non-repeating, meaningful text. And without exception, in all of our experience, you never get anything like that unless you have an author. To have computer software, you have to have a software engineer. To have an encyclopedia, you need uh, actually a lot of different authors and editors. Uh, to have the plays of Shakespeare, you need Shakespeare. 